Nighttime walleye fishing is one of my favorite ways to capitalize on big female walleyes. Uh, right now we're in April in Colorado and I'm getting out here at Chatfield Reservoir just outside of the metro area and we are gonna be catching walleye with a few different techniques, but mostly I wanna talk about trolling with these seven foot medium professional walleye casting rods. Now this is a rod you might traditionally use for bass fishing and put on a casting reel, but I find that these rods work really well for pulling planer boards, especially in big waves. They've got enough noodle in them to kind of pull them over the top of those waves without being too springy or too tight. So I've got six of these guys rigged up on the boat, and I've also got three rod holders on each side. And we're gonna go ahead tonight and pull these planer boards. We're gonna shine lights on them with the reflective tape, and we're gonna go searching for big female and some male walleye. We're gonna get these baits really high in the water, really shallow, and those walleyes are gonna come up from underneath and they're gonna attack the bait as they see its silhouette above them swimming through the water. So the key with these rods is that they're seven foot. So when I'm moving them, from each one of these rod holders, it's very easy to move them up or back and shift them throughout the boat. If I catch a fish on this front rod and I need to reel it in, I can easily pull this out of the rod holder, reel in my fish, and simultaneously move up my other two rods. Then when I'm ready to let this one back out, it goes right in the back and we're back to fishing. This is a great way for no stop fishing using the seven foot professional walleye casting rods from TFO. All right guys, we got the first fish in the boat. We've been fishing like five minutes. Um, Luke got the first fish. It's just a small male. Uh, we're just trolling a bunch of different colors and sizes, trying to find out what depth they're at and what color they're taking. Uh, but we definitely got the first one off. So the skunk is off and we're ready to go. Right on, nice fish. <coughs> That's right, there we go. All right, yeah, we'll just let him back. Sweet. All right, guys, we just doubled up on rods again. We've been fishing 15 to 20 minutes now. Uh, those came on the same side and it was immediately, we actually saw them on the side scan. We saw their shadow about 40 feet, 20 to 40 feet out and both rods went back. So that's what you can do as long as you know how to place the, the uh, baits and how to read your graph to run into fish like this. So double, uh, we're having a blast. That's a three fish of the night so far. Sweet, nice job, Luke. Thanks, man. All right, let's drop them back. There goes one. Oh yeah, just uh, push it out like a, yeah, there you go. Sweet, right on, dude. Nice fish. Hit him on the top of the head, that's why. Ah. <laughs> that's exactly how big fish come in though. Just like that. Just, just like fishing heavy. Yep. Two. Last hook. Three. It's still out there at least, huh? Yep. All right, guys. We're catching walleyes out here. This is fish number six, I think, of the night. Uh, lots of males up front uh, right near the shore. Uh, we are having a good transition of spawn fish uh, to post-spawn fish. So these are the ones that are getting a little hungry. They've done their spawn thing and they're ready to go. So we're going to get him back. Uh, right in the middle of the foot. There you go. little 16 and a half inch male here having a blast i think this is fish number six or seven uh we're out here trolling we're doing it fire tiger uh blue uh tennessee shad lots of stuff working right now let's get him back see you here we go john's got another one yeah yeah, yeah okay. clown paying dividends there we go nice fish john that is your second one on that side. The monster. The one on the outside. There you go. There you go. Good fish, bro. We're not done yet, huh? We're not done. What are we looking at here, boys? We're looking at uh, the blue again. They're hitting everything. Another healthy walleye. Talking about 16 and a half right here. He's going to go back. Having a blast out here. This is fish number eight. All right. Let's get him back in the water. buddy good healthy kicks down catching a bunch of these fish up shallow we got all of our baits about three to five feet of water so we're having a really good time trying to catch these fish and we're gonna just keep after it we'll keep it posted uh -oh. 
I thought we were just gonna throw this one back and nobody would know. Got this yeah. fish here. For yeah, let's see the full. Three and a half, four pounds. Three and a half, yeah, four you, pounds. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chris, what's going on over there? <laughs> yeah, you f***ed up and you needed me to fix it, so. Oh, yes. Little tiny male here. Feeling pretty good about that fish. And uh, yeah, that brings in number nine. So we're gonna keep getting after him, but catching a lot of little young males right now, but it's still a good time. Going back. Trout? Not hard. Trout. A trout? It's a giant. That's a big boy, yeah, bud. Swing it over. Oh, that one just got bit. Turn the boat. I'm trying. I'll do, I'll do the trout. That's a good one. Dude, that's a fish. That needs to go on the live well. Yes. You better take that home and put him on a dinner plate. Oh, yeah. Got another one on the rod. Trout going. Lower. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, look what I caught it on. The new lure. You're trolling for trout. Turn the boat. There it is. Woo! Catching fish out here, having a blast. We are crushing it on the troll right now. I think this is fish number 12. We've caught just now a big trout, walleye. We are having a blast out here. We're gonna keep going. Woo! Nighttime trolling in cold weather. It sometimes cannot get any better than this. There is nobody out here. We are the only boat. There's not a single other person willing to brave this out. This is why you come. You see a lot of guys post big fish, and when they post those fish, you think, oh, they got lucky tonight. Those are the guys that are out here in 30 degrees of weather, putting six rods out, fighting fish, and having a good time waiting for that big one to bite. Not saying it happens all the time, but if you get out there, you got a better chance. So uh, get out to Chatfield, get on the rocks, cast big lures. You're gonna be able to catch these fish. A lot of them we're catching in three feet of water. So just a few tips to get you guys started. Another walleye. Eating the fire tiger. There we go. Still catching fish tonight, having a blast. We are just hitting them near the shore. I'm in four feet of water right now, about a mile and a half an hour. Planer board's out each side. We can't keep them off the lures. Having a great time. Nice little fish, he's going back. So a baker's dozen, 13? Something like that. Luke just got another one on a planer board. Not even counting anymore. <laughs> Keep reeling, but stay yeah, back up a little bit. Keep reeling, nice and slow. You either pegged this the wrong way or you got a good fish. Let's see. A little fatter, for sure. Not big, but that bait sideways in his mouth made him look big. Another healthy male. Luke just dragged this one in. Again, just catching fish. Numbers tonight. We're gonna let this guy go. And whoop. Off he goes. All right, Luke's got another one. This one he caught on the cast. So catching fish, casting. Now John's hooked up right now. There we go. This is what I'm talking about, baby. Nice job, John. There we go. Yeah, he's sending him back. Got another one coming into the boat right now. Walleyes are eating tonight, baby. Check that out. Let's go. That's a good boy. There he is. Sweet. Good stuff, making it happen on the cast. All right. Well, I think that's about the end of the night here. It's uh, definitely in the 20s. Fish were biting really good there for a while. We caught two on the cast and then the GoPro died. So uh, we had a great night overall. I think we, we boated somewhere around 20 fish total. Uh, started casting some rock and riprap when it started getting cold about 1 a.m and uh, we all just kind of gave in to the weather. Um, but we probably could have caught fish all night if we wanted to. Uh, lots of fish catching uh, going on up high in the shallow water. Um, lots of bright colors are working. Lots of action is working, which is kind of surprising for this time of year with the water so cold. Usually a more subtle action will present uh, more fish. So just had a great night overall. Uh, wanted to wrap up the video better than the, the GoPro cutting off there. But thank you guys for watching the episode and we'll see you next time on CO Fish Pro.
Don't miss out on our next subscriber giveaway, 10,000 for this TFO Tactical Elite Bass combo. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon to receive notifications when I post. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button below. If you have suggestions of videos you wanna see in the future, go ahead and leave a comment and we'll see you in the next one. Now enjoy these fish.